Here's some colorful clues about the cotton candy. I'm definitely a perfectionist, but things in my life haven't always been so sweet. Is that an English-style breakfast? Growing up, I was kind of an all-around whiz kid. I had big plans, but in order to chase my dreams, I had to move in with a new family. I was just a kid, and I got so homesick. I had trouble keeping up. Keeping up? Keeping up with the Kardashians? That's why I thought yeah. Kylie did. But if I learned anything in my life, it's when times get tough, I can't just quit. I'm a fighter. And my new fam gave me a safe haven to keep going. With their support, I'm feeling more glamorous than ever. And now, nothing can stop me from being at the top. Even after what happened at my rehearsal yesterday, Again, just with the come down with that transition. Keep spinning and keep moving. That's one hell of a fall. I can't believe she's back here today yeah. doing this. The show must go on is definitely her motto. Yeah. And now, ready to perform, Cotton Candy. Woo! Have you ever fed a lover with just your hands? Close. Just trust it. Have you ever thrown a fistful of glitter in the air? Wow, wow. Have you ever looked fear in the face and said, I just don't care? out. Definitely a figure skater. I even missed my high school prom. It made me want to scream sometimes. Oh, lipstick. Maybe she has her own makeup line. But all these years later, I'm truly grateful for those sacrifices. Because I made it here, and once again, I'm taking a big risk. My last performance, it was just me and my partner. But tonight, I'm with a group of the most talented dancers. So I have to stand out and show the panel why I deserve a spot in this Super 6. They're like pumping her. Is she a model, maybe? She's clearly very strong. She's petite. She seems like an athlete the way she recovered from that fall. Oh, yeah. Here to serve us a little sweet and sour. Give it up for the cotton candy.
But this has been different. After my fall, I wasn't sure if I could even keep on dancing, let alone make it this far. I think you are showing that you have a winner's attitude, and I think you're going to be here for a long time. Some haters in the past said that I can't dance. That was amazing. Well, I'm about to do a crazy fun swing performance that will change their minds. Piece of me. Five balloons. Gold for me. It's got to be someone who's fought for the gold in the Olympics, maybe? Yeah. Let's hear it for Cotton Candy! You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much your love drives a man insane. You broke my will, the blood of three. Candy is so inspired. Dancing in these costumes is hard, but she is determined to get it right. Ooh, red, white, and blue. Maybe Team USA? Every night after rehearsals, she goes for a three-mile run in her mask just so she can get used to it. She's a runner. Oh, yeah. sweet. Now that's dedication. I was so scared after her fall. <laughs> For anyone else, that might have meant hitting rock bottom. But she vaulted back to her feet like a hero. Who's a celebrity that's played a superhero? And now, she's on fire. The story of tonight's dance is Cotton Candy is late for her ballet rehearsal, but that forces her to break out into her own. It's a huge risk. Ballet is hard, but if she could pull it off, semifinals, here we come. That's a strong woman. Yeah. Let's hear it for 
the cotton candy. Oh, nice. Dancing through the backstage. Oh, this is so cute. This is the final five. Yeah. And the reason why you're so close is how innovative and original you are. But the theme of tonight's show makes me a little nervous. Love has often taken a backseat in my life. I'm always rehearsing. I started on this path when I was six. Six? You're like a child actor. Before you know it, four years of my life had just flown by. To be honest, when you travel a lot, relationships can flame out. But enough about love. I've got a cheer pack stomp performance to do. Boss, this was also in the opening number. Undercover, too. It must be important. There's so many precise steps. If I get even one wrong, the entire performance will be blown. But if I get them right, I'll be stomping right into the finale. All right. Travels a lot. Maybe a flight attendant. Or maybe well, someone on tour as opposed to a flight oh, attendant. Oh, yeah. There yeah. we go. That's a great idea. Have fun. Yeah. Cotton candy. Dancer, my world was full of judgment. I was always told, not good enough, be better. So this experience has been life changing. You clearly have a competitive spirit and clearly want to make the finals. You are the one to beat right now. I've never felt more powerful. But not everything has been a perfect 10. Oh my God. After the fall, all of my insecurities flooded back. But I know hard days are when champions are made. And I am a champion. Wow. And even though Tulip and Sloth are more at home on the dance floor, my training gives me the courage to soar. Wow. Being in the final.
finals has sparked a fire in me to win this whole thing. So for my final performance, I'm bringing something to the table that no one else can. And look, it's raining. I had deja vu. Mama always said that rain means one thing. Today is gonna be a big day. Fingers crossed. Perfect 10, that's a gymnast. But the clues to me, they really point to ice cream. And she called herself a champion. That means a lot to me. Give it up for the cotton candy. I am not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say. No one will love you as you are. But I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. For we are glorious When the sharpest words want to cut me down I'm gonna send a flag, gonna drown them out I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be This is me playing around. She is here to win. Cotton Candy! <laughs> the winner of The Masked Dancer Season 1 is... Oh, boy. Oh, this is so hard. The Cotton Candy! Cotton Candy, congratulations. You are the queen of the mass dancer. There's no confusion to why this Cotton Candy is our winner. First, take a moment and tell us, what has it been like being Cotton Candy? Being the Cotton Candy has been such an amazing journey. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Oh, You're making me cry again. <laughs> The honor has been ours. Yeah. We love you. You've been amazing. Okay, panel. It's time to dig deep and each give your final guest, Brian. I've really had in mind this ice skating thing. Then I saw the gold watch, and so I thought, gold medalist, Christy Yamaguchi. But in earlier packages, I saw lots of lip clues. But what solidified it for me was when I saw the rain falling in the clues, her gold medal routine was the song, The Rainbow. Now, I honestly believe that this is Tara Lipinski. Ah! Kent. Starting from the very beginning, the ability plus the English breakfast of it all, I thought Julian Huff because she trained in the UK. But with the word foundation, she was honored with the Billie Jean Award from the Women's Sports Foundation. And I saw prayer hands. Her most famous ice skating routine is Dante's Prayer. Ah. I really think this is Michelle Kwan. Paula. Wow, wow, wow. I started with my dear friend Jenna Dewan. And then I was thinking, nope. I saw in your clue package the prayer hands. I know that you are deeply religious. And the fire and the flames and the Olympic rings. And it just hit me. Alicia Keys and you performed on stage to a, a song that she dedicated to you called Girl on Fire. You are Gabby Douglas. The Tiz. 
Okay, well, for a long time, I thought, oh, it's gotta be an ice skater, and I, and I thought of Tara Lipinski, like you, Brian, but now I've changed my mind. I really feel like you are a gymnast based off of that fall in the very beginning. You fell like a professional gymnast. And the person I'm thinking of actually has a book called Courage to Soar, and I heard that in a clue package. So I think you're Simone Biles. Good guess. Okay, panel, you've made your final guesses. Paula and Brian are all tied up on the scoreboard. Let's see if one of them can take the lead once and for all. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's unmask our first ever mask dancer champion. I'm so excited right now. Audience, stay with me. Take it off. 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 Speaker, author, and three time Olympic gold medal winning gymnast Gabby Douglas. Yes! Oh my God! I love you! I love you! I love you! Wow! Wow! Yes! Gabby yes. Douglas! And the panelists with the most correct guesses. That's right. It's Paula Abdul. Gabby, Woo. how does it feel? This experience has been so, so amazing. I thank everyone so much. I love everyone so much. It's been so amazing. I love you. <laughs> Paula, you were super confident. You knew, you felt it. She knew. She knew I the did, whole time. I did. I love you so much. You're the epitome of what this show is about, and that's heart. And your heart led you to where you are right now. Thank you so much. Was it as easy to tumble? in a costume it's my job to make it look super light but i've never done anything like this before i've never trained with a mask on it was a first time performing and not being judged i had so much fun and i'm so grateful and so honored why did you have dollar signs in your eyes and the clues i trained in ohio so that was for buckeye oh yes. wow. <laughs> what did the english breakfast mean so that's where I won in 2012 in London. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. Congratulations. We love you. We love you, Gabby.